here are the paper from the publisher, how we put it together into InDesign and create this small little booklets. They're really tiny little booklets. It doesn't need to be anything too fancy because the most important thing at this point is to see the correlation uh, of the images, if they are actually communicating enough with each other, if the passages on the compositions are really uh, crossing over, not just for me, but for someone that has never seen the work. So this is when, when we test those things, we're testing on very small uh, thing. And then we did here is just like looking at different uh, variations of printing, the black and white, if it's duotone or tritone or what kind of varnishes and comparing. And I like to say that everything begins, it's almost like the game, the rock, scissor, and rock is really basically the, uh, those things. And I wanted to show this just because I have worked in, um, in so many books and people always ask me, how did it come together? Here, a lot of the decisions, like I told you, are done with the small pieces and decisions of the height of the book, or if we interject an image in between those two and we just leave it on that table overnight for a period of maybe by the time I'm with the publisher, we are able to leave it for a period of like a week, let's just say. But within the week, the other thing that is so marvelous that happens is that I sleep on it. So a lot of the decisions, are we gonna interject this image in the middle or not? They kind of become clear if you allow a little bit of your unconscious to also communicate with you. And my unconscious, I kind of I kind of put it to work when I go to sleep. So my physical body goes to sleep, but I, I pray to God that my unconscious continues. And then the next morning, I, and then the next morning it feels right. There's something about feeling right. And I think that that is really, is really about you tapping into something inside. Uh, this is with the printing press, looking at the, looking at the sheets as they come out and it never ceases to uh, amaze me like when we see for example here when we see that 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 the proof that this sheet here coming out of the press uh, this will be folded and become a signature so this will come into like those images are printed on a piece of paper that is larger than the book and it's then uh, folded and cut uh, but when we see this, we think that everything comes out perfect. But if you want to experiment a little more on press, you can. And that's what we started doing in uh, one of my latest books, where we started playing with silver a little bit more. And the image was not even there. It was a disaster. We thought that nothing is working until suddenly things start shaping up. But I like to show this because people don't see this kind of mess in the background usually. I mean, these are the gloves at the printing press. This is the, the, the pigment, the silver pigment to, to then transform this image into the printing page, into a page. So this is kind of something quite amazing and me happy because everything is eventually working out. And I'm now jumping forward. I'm going to show you a few more works, but this is one of my recent works, which is called She Disappeared Into Complete Silence.